Welcome to part 4 of my virtual reality development for absolute beginners series. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel and something doesn't work from this video, make sure you start from the first video from my playlist and then follow along. The link to the playlist can be found below. Okay, so first thing we need to do is install Unity, which we already did in part 1. So if you have not, make sure you go back to part 1. So if you have already done that, you would find the Unity Hub application over here. So double click that, open it up, and you will be in the projects dashboard. Uh, go to the install section and make sure you have the 2022 long-term support recommended version installed. Again, if you do not have this, go back to part one. Since we already have this, go back to the projects pane and then click on new projects. And then over here, if you have multiple versions installed, make sure you have selected the recommended version that I asked you to download. Now I have the 2022 long-term support version. As you can see, I have multiple versions of these. So whichever is the latest is recommended. So for me, this one is the most latest and has the long-term support badge. So I'm going to click that. And then as you can see, this project template is already uh, selected. If you create this project, it will create an empty 3D project. Now, here's something I would like to share with everyone. All the top YouTubers that are in the virtual reality field that put out tutorials, like for example, Valum and Fistful of Shrimps, they all start with an MP3D project. But that's not, but if you ask me, that's not the best way to go about it for an absolute beginner. Because let me show you, if you go to their channels, Valum tutorial playlists, and if you go, if you click this play playlist, here are so many videos that set up everything step by step from scratch. Let's go to Fistful of Shrimp channel, go to his playlist. Let's go to his beginner tutorial series. And if you see here, he has all these videos. See, there are two issues that I find with most of the creators in the field right now. One, all of the tutorials are super outdated. They are at least one year old which means they are using the old XR Interaction Toolkit, that is the 2.0, which is outdated. But in this tutorial, I will show you how to use the XR Interaction Toolkit 3.0, which has a lot of cool new features. The second issue is that coming back to the playlist, as you can see, it, it starts with an empty project and then step by step, step implements all the functionality. So for example, he implements the input system and then grabbing objects, ray interaction, poke interaction it's and then setting up the hands and then moving inside virtual reality and then switching between all these interactions teleportation and climbing and all of these one by one but now that is not required at all because unity already provides you a ready-made template for you to simply download and then ready to use you do not have to spend so much time going through all these videos and doing all that work and setting up step by step because unity has already done all that hard work for you and given it to you in the form of templates which i will show to you in a while before that let me show you even in unity's official youtube channel if you go here they released a tutorial just two weeks ago okay and if you click over here for some reason they still use the old XR Interaction Toolkit, which is the version 2.0, in order to portray the tutorial. As you can see here, if you read the comments, people are complaining. Let's see here. Look at this person, a bit disappointed that the tutorial isn't targeting the latest version, which is 3.0 of XR Interaction Toolkit instead. There are great existing tutorials, both from Unity and famous YouTubers, for this older version already. If you scroll down, Further, see, again, but with version 3 and hands, please. Oh, here, another person was really hoping this would focus on XR Interaction Toolkit 3.0. This video will be out of date very quickly. Let's scroll further to see what this person says. This video is outdated. It would be better if you had this video a year ago. XRI Toolkit 3.0 is out now with lots of changes but no one in the youtube vr community has made a single tutorial video that uses xr interaction toolkit 3.0 i'm the first one to bring it exclusively for you guys so you're welcome so let's go back let's not start from an empty project if you scroll down you will see all the templates available what we are going to do go to the search panel and then type in vr and you'll have two templates over here download the one that has vr core okay 
Mine's already downloaded, but if you have not downloaded, you will have this button over here on the right. So next thing you have to do is write a name over here. I'm going to write VR and YouTube. And then if you scroll down, you can deselect the connect to Unity Cloud. Coming back up, create the project and wait for it to load. So while it loads, let me tell you something. I have a free ebook that I would like to give it to you all that explains how to develop games for virtual reality using Unity and it's our interaction toolkit and all these other tools in a free ebook format. I would like you guys to comment this in the comment section. As soon as I reach 50 comments, I'll share the free ebook with all of you. All right, finally, we are into the legendary Unity software. So as you can see here, there are some instructions that you can follow along, but we're going to close it because I'm here to do it for you guys instead. As you can see here, there are more tutorials that you can follow along, which you can read and do it yourself, but we don't need that. So we can just grab this and put it over here. So just click the inspector tab over here. All right. Now this is called the scene tab, as you can see over here. This is the scene tab. This is where you will see all the game objects that you create for your virtual reality game. Okay. And on the left over here, this is called the hierarchy tab where all the game objects you have in your sample game scene. All of the game objects that you have in your sample game scene will be listed over here. If you click this arrow over here, all of them will be listed. I understand if all of this is like super overwhelming but don't worry i will explain it to you guys step by step and before you know it everything is going to be a piece of cake so the first thing i want you guys to know is how to move around this scene to see all the game objects that you have already set up in your virtual reality template so if you use your uh, mouse zoom in and zoom out button you can zoom out of the scene and into the scene if you hold the right mouse button and then move your mouse you can look around like this and while you're holding it, if you use your WASD keys, you can also go move forwards, backward, left and right like this. So this is super helpful if you want to maneuver around by using a combination of all these controls. There's also another set of controls to use, which you should definitely know about. If you hold the control and then the alt button, and while holding it, if you hold the left mouse button, you can grab the scene and also move around like this. So make sure you remember that because you will be using these controls all the time. Now, before we play this awesome sample game scene, we need to modify some settings. First thing you have to do is go to the Windows pane over here and then go to the Package Manager and then scroll all the way down until you find the XR Interaction Toolkit. Once you do that, as you can see, you have the version 3.0.3 .3 installed already over here all right if you click the version history over here as you can see if you if you have watched all the old tutorials all of them will be using the 2.5.4 but we are using the new version the 3.0.3 .3. next thing you need to do is go to the samples tab and then import the starter assets the hands interaction demo and then import the starter, starter assets. By default, this one is already imported, so you don't have to re-import it. But if you want to, you can. The next thing I'm gonna, uh, the next thing you need to import is hands interaction demo. So let's import it. This has all the sample game scenes that allows you to use your hands, just your hands, instead of your MetaQuest uh, controllers to play your game. It is so cool. I'll, I'll show it to you later in this tutorial. Okay, you can close this. We will come back to this later. Now scroll down and then also import the XR device simulator. We are going to use this to play your game without using your virtual reality headset. Close this. And while you're at it, also import this spatial keyboard sample asset. This is something new and super cool that is only available in the Etsy Interaction Toolkit uh, 3.0. So let's import that as well. After this, you can simply close this. The next thing you need to do is go to the Edit tab and then scroll all the way down 
to the project settings okay and scroll all the way down on the left hand side and click the xr plugin management if you watch the old tutorials over here there will be an install xr plugin management button but since we use the template it's already installed thus saving time and over here make sure the open xr plugin provider is selected under the windows tab move to the android tab and then also make sure the open xr tab is selected click the windows tab again and then go down in the left to the project validation section and what this section does is that it automatically checks any errors that your project has and it offers to fix it automatically for you as you can see over here it has detected three issues so i'm going to click the fits all button and allow unity to fit all of it automatically for me now as you can see there's still one issue over here but it has not stopped fixing yet how how i know that because if you see look to the bottom right as you can see there's a progress bar that has not completed yet so just sit tight and wait for unity to do the job for you even after clicking the fits all button there's still another issue over here as you can see you can click the fits all button again and see if that fixes it some usually it does and there you go it's fixed sometimes you just have to click it twice make sure you click the android side as well and check if there are any issues there are no issues now we'll have to go to the open xr tab and then next over here under the open xr feature groups make sure you have the meta quest support clicked meta hand tracking in clicked and the hand tracking subsystem uh, selected and as you can see this is under the android tab make sure you go back to the windows tab as well and then scroll down and make sure the meta hand tracking aim is selected and the hand tracking subsystem is selected so what this does is that it just enables all the features that are provided by specific headsets for example in our case we have we have certain features that meta provides which we are simply enabling once that is done you can close the window and then now you're just one step away from playing your sample virtual reality game click here for the next part in this series